course it's going to work. I mean, I financed the damn thing, didn't I? And I don't fund things that fail. We're gonna make history, okay? Look, I'm headed over there right now. Just turn on the TV and enjoy the show. Any of them. News as big is gonna be on all the channels, okay? All right, bye. Hey, bro, come on, you're in my way. Come on. Look, if you're here for investments, just get in contact with my assistant. Today's the big day. Hmm? We're finally announcing it. Who knows, in about a month, we may have cured our first patient. Imagine that. He's doing great, Dr. Sawyer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you planning on taking him out for a ride? Uh, not today. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Oh, uh, good. One down, one to go. I don't know what that means. Theo's late, too. Oh. Oh. But that's what happens when you uh, schedule a press conference with 24 hours' notice. You know, we're just trying to cure cancer here, people. It would be great if our own team could show up. I'm sure he's just stuck in traffic. I knew involving that kid was a mistake. Uh, Rachel, we wouldn't be here without his investment. No one under 25 should have that much money. But he does. That's tech millionaires for you. You know what? That's it. I'm not waiting any longer. We're doing this. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good to see you. Well, it was morning when we arrived. It's closer to afternoon now. <laughs> I apologize for that, but believe me, it'll be worth the wait. Our group has developed a ground breaking medical device that can cure malignancy. What? Yes, you heard that correctly. A non-invasive way to cure cancer. No chemicals, no radiation, no surgery, no months-long cycle of treatments in the hospital. The technology is based on wave alternating nanoparticle disruption, or as we call it, the wand. We're late. Let's go. You coming, boss? Ah, uh, 
No, I'm just gonna finish this work first. Okay. Interns. Let me get this straight. You're saying your device can cure cancer of any type? Oh, well, we're not there quite yet, but a malignant tumor that was formed by uncontrolled cell growth can be targeted. Our plan is to provide the treatment at cost to all who need it. Okay, I'm sorry if I sound skeptical, but how does that even work? Dr. Sawyer, would you explain the science in more detail, please? I would love to. Thank you, Dr. Atwood. The technology is based on wave particle fluctuation physics. The wand targets specific cells based on their molecular structure. And now you're looking at me with blank stares, so I'm going to simplify. With the correct wavelength, the wand resonates with those cells that form diseased human tissues and tumors, leaving the healthy cells unharmed, thus curing the condition. Has it been tested in human? Hello? Yeah, I'm watching it. Yes, I know, it's sooner than we thought, but I got this under control. I'm going with plan B and fixing it tonight. Yes, you don't have to worry. Can you come in here? Cancel my meetings. But uh, you have the new security system briefing this afternoon. Reschedule it. studies in healthy subjects has been completed. We have received a green light from the FDA to conduct a phase two study in patients with different terminal malignancies. Well, when is the trial scheduled to happen? We are recruiting patients as we speak. Dr. Sawyer, if this device was available three years ago, would your daughter be alive today? Excuse me? Your daughter, Gracie, died in medulloblastoma at the age of eight, did she not? Yes, she did. So this technology could have saved her if it was available? I... You know what? We're, we're not here to answer, answer hypothetical that. questions. If yeah. there aren't any more questions about the technology, yes. Earlier, when you said that you'd be providing the technology at cost, what did you mean by that? Well, the wand can save millions of lives and billions of dollars. We're not here to make money. We're here to save lives. Anyone regardless of their wealth or insurance, will have access to the wand that they wanted. Yes. Sweet, huh? The donut? No. All this. We're famous. Yeah. I still think we should have kept it under the radar for now. What, you don't trust your own science now? I don't trust our competitors. We just made a whole lot of enemies. Damn, Clyde. You can't lay off your conspiracy theories for one day. What do you think is going to happen next? We just took billions of dollars away from them. You think they're just going to sit by and let it happen? Do you? OK. You think they want to cure anyone? That's the last thing they want. They literally get paid by keeping people sick. I don't know why I keep wasting my breath with you. Just eat your donut, you ignorant little centennial sheep. As I understand, Gracie Technology is, is only a small startup company. I mean, how do you plan on competing with the multi-billion dollar pharmaceutical companies? As I said, we're here to save lives, not make money. We're not even focusing on the competitors right now. That's all we have to present today. Thank you. Are you prepared to sell that?
hide. Come in. <clears throat> Just thought I'd bring you one before those jackals finish them off. Oh, I think those jackals earned it this time. <laughs> Maybe. Thank you. Where's yours? Oh, I just came for a snack. I don't want to participate in a premature celebration. Instead, I'm going to go finish my most recent analysis. Huh. I feel like I should be offended, but I'm not. Because it's you. You know they're idiots, right? Who? The reporters. You tell them you can cure cancer, and they ask you why you didn't do it sooner. Just forget them. Thank you. Bye. Why didn't we? It's me. What the hell? What the hell? Surprise. How did you get in? I know where you keep your spare key. I can't believe you broke into my house. Well, technically, it's not breaking in when you have a key. Um, is that so?
You need to keep quiet. Bro, I work here. No one's here right now. Give me a can. I'm gonna get the lab. You get the offices. All right. No strings attached, just dinner. That's it. Please? Fine. Pour some champagne. I got your favorite. Y'all set? Yeah. Let's light this baby up. Let's go. Congratulations are in order. Hmm. Thank you. Curing cancer. You're like a modern day Mother Teresa. <laughs> Just sexier. Great. What? I can't even compliment you now? Let's not do this. Not tonight. Can we just move past this? I already apologized. What else do you want me to do? How about not screwing up in the first place? Literally. I made one mistake. <laughs> Please. A mistake is buying the wrong size pants, not throwing your pants out in front of any woman you meet. <sighs> what now? The police are investigating the homicide of a local businessman, Theo Jackson, who was found dead earlier this morning. Anyone with information is asked to contact what? Reno Police. Theo Jackson is the largest investor of the One oh Technology, God. announced earlier today by the Gracie oh Tech Company. Okay. In their press conference today, Gracie Tech made claims their yeah. tech can cure many forms of cancer. Here on 99.1, we'll be watching closely. Do you have a flashlight? In the top drawer. Let's check the breaker. It should be right there. Uh, here, hold this. It's off. What? Huh. 
Looks like dinner's back on. I'm tired. Well, maybe we could skip straight to dessert. I don't. Stay calm and not panic. What are you calm? Okay, well, in these situations, I get a little claustrophobic. So I think we just need to. You should calm down. We need some fresh air. Okay. I need. To, I need. To. Oh, you're going out. You're going out. Fine. Give me your hand. It's okay. Come on. Uh. 
Okay. All right. Well, he might be back at any moment, so we should probably just head in that direction, yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, yes. The, the backpack! No! Grab the bag. Grab the bag. Oh, it's locked. Let me just... We're good. We got it. Yeah? Donna, he can come back any minute. Donna, you must go faster. It's stuck, okay? Donna, grab the bag. meeting at nine. Your two o'clock canceled, so I booked an internal meeting with the security team. And at three, you have that rescheduled systems briefing. Get out. Now! Did you get my message? Yes. What happened? I don't know. He said there was a man there that helped her, but they got away. What man? I don't know. Do you know anything? <sighs> Let me think. Maybe we should call this thing off. The press is going to be Just all Just shut of up and listen. You're going to do exactly as I say. You're going to call him and tell him to take the gun and plant it in her house. Are you getting this? Um. Don't mess this up again. Hello? We were in an thing. accident, we were an accident. And it was very, it was very terrifying. terrifying. I was driving, but it wasn't I my was fault because my passenger didn't know what the terrain was. And if she did, it wouldn't have crashed. I'm telling you, I'm... Can we use your phone? Maybe get some water. I don't know. It's an emergency. Please, we just need to call the cops. Well, I guess so. <sighs> You're going to have to take off your shoes. Thank you. That was really lovely. Excuse me, can I use your restroom? It's the second door on the left. And please don't go into any other rooms. Mm-hmm. 
I was just about to make a pot of coffee. Would you like a cup? No, no coffee, just water and the phone. And this cookie. And the phone. This is a local call, right? <laughs> yes. I know. I hate when I'm right. I told you we were in a car accident. Someone tried to kill us. Ma'am, are you currently injured? Uh, no, I'm not injured. Is your life currently in danger? Did you not hear me? Someone is after us trying to kill us. Uh -huh. Hold, please. Don't put... As you can see, the building has sustained extensive damage, and police tell us that they're also investigating a shooting that happened can you earlier turn that last up? night involving two Gracie Technology employees. Dr. Rachel Atwood was shot and killed in her home, and Dr. Shane Riddick is in the hospital recovering from a gunshot wound. After an anonymous tip, police tell us Dr. Donna Sawyer is a suspect, a Gracie Technology employee. She is considered armed and dangerous. If you have any information, you are urged to call. Don't kill police. me. No, 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 no. We are gonna hurt you. It's a big misunderstanding. She's in my house. Stop it. The, the doctor on the TV. And her boyfriend. What did you do? What? Two, three, five, five, morning star drive. Sorry. I'll bring it back. I promise. Are you going to tell me what is happening? No, no. We're stealing her car? Yes. Darn it, Donna. The fuck? It's stuck. Fuck my car! Can I help you? Good afternoon. I'm Detective Conlon. This is Detective Crane. We're looking for Shane Riddick. Dr. Riddick? Yes? There are two detectives here to see you. Give me a moment. Here you are, detective. Thank you. I just can't believe this. Are you sure she's involved? We found a gun in her house that matches the one that shot Miss Atwood and Mr. Jackson. Doctor. It's Dr. Atwood. Now her boyfriend must have found out, and then she had him eliminated too. You got lucky. <laughs> I just, I can't believe this. Donna would never do this. I understand that Dr. Sawyer's daughter died of cancer three years ago. Y yes, that's right. And that must have been frustrating. Not being able to save her. Whereas now you could, right? If you're trying to say that Donna did this out of spite, you couldn't be more wrong. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, Donna only cared about helping other people. She didn't even care about the money. Do you have ownership in the technology? Yes, of course, we all do. And how much is this technology worth? Well, nothing now. The fire destroyed everything. It, the, the research and the prototypes. All of it? Yes. Do you recognize this man? Yeah, that's Clyde Daniel. He's uh, one of the lead engineers. Why? He was seen leaving the building just before the fire. And do you think he's involved? We don't know yet. We're looking for him. Was he and Donna close? I really don't know. I, uh, I hardly know Clyde. Do you have any idea where she may be headed? 
second homes, relatives. Well, Don is an only child. I'm pretty sure her parents are both dead. Dr. Riddick, uh, it's uh, time for your medications. Thank you. Christian, is this going to take much longer, detectives? I think we've got everything. If you think of anything else, give us a call. Of course. Do you guys sell any phone chargers? Check the back wall. Any duct tape? Nope. What about clothes? knives. What about them? Do you sell them? Nice. Did you get food? All they had was snacks. They're in the back. Okay. Got myself a phone charger. There we go. Okay. Okay. I think we need to come up with a plan. I have one. We go to the police. Are you serious? Didn't you say you're the prime suspect of a double homicide? We can explain. It's a big mistake. Oh, my gosh. Great. If the police have you as a suspect, then they have evidence. Well, then what are we supposed to do? D drive around in a stolen car all day? No. <sighs> I got it. We need to find ourselves a lawyer. He's someone we can trust and who's not going to allow us to become political pawns. I might know someone. Who? He's a judge in Sacramento, Lawrence Blackheart. Can you trust him? Yeah. Yeah, he'll help us, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's very encouraging. OK, OK, well, call him. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna call him. Call him, please. Yep, I'm going to. Hello, you have reached Judge Lawrence Blackheart. Please leave your name and number and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Hi, Lawrence. It's 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 me. I I hope you're doing well. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, so um, I'm not sure if you've watched the news, but none of it is true. I could really use your help. Call me as soon as you get this. It, this is my friend's number. Don't call mine. It's late. He probably won't call back till morning. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, well, uh, I saw a motel a few miles back. Um, we should probably go get some rest. Yeah, we should. Separate beds. 
Obviously. Obviously. Seat belts, please. Oh. Everyone's looking for her. It's only a matter of time before they find her and arrest her. If the police find her first, they can lead them to us. She doesn't know anything. And if she did, they won't believe her. Now with all the evidence against her. I hope you're right, for your sake. What about the man? Who is he? We think we know who he is. We're tracking him as we speak. You heard him. Find them. I'll be right there. It's getting cold. Um, the stuff that we might need um, later. Okay. I also got you some clothes that you can try on. Hmm. Right now. There's a few options in there, so hopefully you find something that you'll like. Thank you, Klein. Mm-hmm. They look great. <clears throat> Hey, uh, did your, uh, did your friend call back yet? No, not yet. All right. You know, I was thinking of all the different companies that might be behind this, the companies that are about to lose billions of dollars once the wand hits the market. I can think of at least 10. 10 companies, Donna. No. No, 12. There's 12 of them. Donna, 12 companies. I mean, I can't believe it. I mean, I get it. I just, I just can't believe someone would go this far to stop us. Well, I can. Big Pharma is in the business of making money, not saving lives. Okay, even if we know who's behind it, how do we ever prove any of it? Well, I was hoping that your friend could help us with that. I mean, there's gotta be some kind of like paper trail, you know, emails or call logs or something. And what if there's not? Well, look, whoever's behind this, they have to be concerned that you and I are still alive. And they're bound to make a mistake eventually. So you think they're still after us? I mean, maybe, but <laughs> they're not gonna find us. How could they? Were you followed? No, I don't think so. I did what you told me and took the side roads. Did you find them? Yes. Um, we tracked his phone. Uh, they're staying at a motel. Who is he? He's just one of the scientists. He shouldn't be a problem at all. So uh, we're all set? 
Oh, right, the money, right, uh, yeah. I've got that right here. are looking for them also, so you just might want to uh, get going. Get going. You should probably get going. said that your friend was going to call? Yes. Well, he hasn't called. He will call. Well, he hasn't. I mean, like, 12 hours. He will call. All right. Well, I think you should give him another call, OK? Please? It's me again. Call me, it's urgent. You get an answer? No, we did not. Okay. All right. I think we should just drive there and see him in person. Should we buy a new car first? You know, because. We're driving a stolen car. But a bluntly, yes. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. There was a car dealer a few blocks away that had some really nice deals. Well, how are we going to pay for it? Do you have cash? Not enough. All I have is my laptop. And leave your research? Absolutely not. Well, unless you have something better to sell, we really don't have another option now, do we? but, you know. That was good. You can Thanks. keep the change. Thank you. You and your wife have a lovely day. Oh, uh, she's actually not m my wife. OK. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's him. No. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, do you guys want to order something else? No, we're yeah. good, thank you. Just give us a moment, okay. please. Okay. How did you find us? Stupid, stupid, stupid. They tracked us. What about Lawrence? He's supposed to call. No, no, we cannot keep that, all right? We have to go, come on. What? Without, no, not without your wands and the research. What are we supposed to do? There is a kill. There is a killer inside the hotel room with a gun, remember? We have a gun, too. What? Where did you get that? It was in the car. So you just took it? I thought it might come in handy. Hey, listen to me. 
That guy is the key to finding out who was behind this. We can't just leave. Okay. Okay. But what are we supposed to do about it, huh? I have a plan. Housekeeping. Yeah. Hello, sir. I brought the towels you requested. Morning. Let's put them over there. Absolutely. Don't move. The gun? Toss it on the bed. Now! No. Sorry, that was, that was longer than I expected. Okay. Good. Good. Now, now sit down. Sit down. Clyde! I can't believe we're doing this. I know. Pull that trigger. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Yeah. I'll shoot this gun. I'll shoot ah! 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 I shot it. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Can we go now? Get his gun. Isn't one enough? It's evidence. Right. Don't move. Now can we go? Not until he talks. He's not gonna talk. Look at him. He's like the love child of Vin Diesel on the rock. Oh my gosh, you are. Right? Uh -huh. It's in the jaw, you can see it. Have you ever gotten that before? Shh, don't talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I didn't plan this part out. Darn it, darn it. I know. Just keep the gun there. Um. Um, 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 Is that a part of the plan? It could be. <gasps> All right, so let's see here. There we go. All right, done, let's go. Check his pockets. What? Why? Just do it. Fine. Oh, Eddie Blake. Somehow I feel like that's not your actual name. Oh, that will come in handy. Okay, um, uh, excuse me. Ooh. Great, now we can go. Hmm? What about his car keys? This place for two nights. Someone will eventually find you. Crossfade, Brian Bryant, think. News One News. Why do you fight crime? Hurry up! Disturb.
this is the car, but okay, whatever. Oh, wow. Okay, act normal. Get in the car. Come on, come on. Yes. Put the gun away, please. Sorry, I just got a little excited. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what's next? We drive to Sacramento, and we see Lawrence. Okay. Okay. How do I turn this thing on? Oh, oh she purrs. <laughs> Hello, honey. sit here and stare at it. Just give me a minute. <sighs> okay. Yeah? Okay. What are you doing here? I'm here to see Lawrence. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. I am not leaving until I talk to him. My, my, my. Still, no manners. You were always so... So what? Ungracious. And you were always a shrew. Okay, maybe we should just go. Yes, you should. Norleen, I would not be here if it wasn't urgent. I just need a few seconds to talk to him. Even if I would say yes, it wouldn't do you any good. And why is that? Because Lawrence is dying. What? He has stage four pancreatic cancer. He's very weak. And the last thing he needs is to see you. So please. Why don't you and your boyfriend make your way off of my property and leave us alone? Actually, we're not together. <clears throat> I don't know why they keep saying that. Hey, uh, Donna. I can't believe you didn't call me. I didn't realize you two were so close. Yeah, well, we were before he married that... Shrew? Why didn't he call me? Um... It's gonna be okay. We'll just, uh, we'll come up with another plan, find ourselves a different lawyer. Yeah? Let's just, uh... No. No. We're not leaving. We're not. Not yet. Keys. 
What are you doing? I'm gonna save him. Uh, <laughs> you're joking, yeah? Isn't that exactly why we made this thing? To save lives? Yes, but we haven't done any clinical trials. You, you don't even know the dose, the, the frequency, the duration. I mean, you'd be going in blind. Heck, we don't even know if it works in humans. Then make your best guesstimate. What if the FDA finds out we ran an unauthorized human experiment? They'll never clear us. I don't care about the FDA. If we have the chance to save him, we should try. Donna, I... I cannot let this happen again. Not without trying. I just can't. I can't. What, what do you mean, ag again? He's family. He's the only one I have left. Oh. This is the part where you hug me? Okay. Hey, it's okay. Um, we can try it. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can calculate an, an approximate dose based upon the cancer type and, and the stage. It'll be an estimate, but um, <clears throat> it should work. Yeah, I, I, I think it'll work. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but how are you planning on getting us back in there? Because it's <laughs> not like we were invited. Right. Unless you can figure out how to tame the shrew. Hmm. I have a plan. Oh, gosh, not again. We're supposed to be yeah. here. Yeah. You gotta plan. I keep telling myself that. We, we gotta make renovations. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing with this. So you're saying it's supposed to measure the kitchen? You're gonna measure, yes, part of the kitchen, the cabinets. I've the... never done any renovations. Just measure stuff. Should we have a couple of Should I sit down? Can I help you? Hi, love. We're here to see Norlene Blackheart. Oh, you just missed her. Oh, shoot. Well, we are from Sierra Estate Designs, and we need to measure the kitchen for the renovation. What renovation? The one Mrs. Blackheart wanted us to schedule ASAP. It will only take a few minutes. We just need to take the final measurements for the countertops and the cabinet. That's all. <laughs> but they just redid the kitchen last year. Yes, and what a horrible job it is. Mrs. Blackheart is not pleased at all. She's not? Oh, no. Now, if we can just pop on in there and take those measurements. Um, I, I don't know. Oh, I mean, we can come back next week, but we won't be able to make the order today, which will put us behind schedule. Now, if you think Mrs. Blackheart is going to be all right with that, then, girl. No, uh -huh. no. Please, come in. Oh, excellent. <sighs> Excuse me, love. May I use the ladies' room? Sure. It's just down the hall. Oh. I will find it. Bobby, why don't you start the measurements?
matter. How much longer is this going to take? Almost done. You just have to measure the cabinets. <sighs> How are we doing in here? All done. What about the cabinets? Right, um, 72, 16, 24, 35. Great, got it, thank you. Good work, Bobby. <laughs> Thanks again, love. <laughs> Never make me do that again. What? You were great. How did it go? I treated him. Uh, at least he has a chance. Did he say anything about us? I didn't tell him. I, yeah, he's too weak to help us, so. OK. That was the biggest waste of time. Let's go. The police now have a second suspect, Dr. Clyde Daniel, who was last seen together with Dr. Sawyer. I'm here with the homeowner, Wendy Parker, who is the victim of a home invasion. I was so frightened. They broke into my house, threatened me. They could have done anything. Hello. You have reached Donna Sawyer. Please leave your name and number, and I'll call you back as soon as possible. Thank you. Donna, where are you? You're, you're all over the news. I just, I, I don't know what's going on. Call me back. Did you see a gun? Yes. Yeah, so we'll be back in town tomorrow morning, and I will give you another call then. All right, thank you. Thanks for the phone. Well, found ourselves a lawyer. Sort of. I left him a voicemail. Maybe we should just turn ourselves in. No. No, not yet. If we turn ourselves in now, they'll bury us. We don't have nearly enough evidence. You don't know that? Yes, I do know that. They have unlimited resources and all the money and power in the world. We wouldn't make it through one night in jail if we turn ourselves in now. Trust me. What was that? I don't know. It's the killer. I mean, whoever hired him. What? What, what does it say? Are our two problems eliminated? Oh my god, this is it. This is evidence, right? Well, yeah, it's one piece of evidence, but I don't think it's enough. The police can track the number. Not if they're using a burner phone. And trust me, they're using a burner phone. They're much more prepared than I was. What are you doing? You said so yourself. We need to find out who's behind all this, so we should meet him. There's a problem. We should meet. What do you think? It's a little obvious. Done. Why do you seek my advice and then not use it?
What time can you be in Truckee? 10 a.m. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. So what are we going to do in Truckee? I have a plan. I'm here, where are you? That's definitely him. Do you recognize him? No. Okay, I think it's time we go to the cops. No, not yet. I think so. I think we should. We need to adjust the payment. What are you doing? We need him to take us to whoever's paying the bills. Hold on, I thought he was paying the bills. No, he's just a middleman. Trust me. We need to know who he's actually working for. That wasn't the deal. Well, deals change. I want double the pay, mm -hmm. or I'm letting them walk. surprise. Why do you say that? Well, they have this new immunotherapy drug on the market. It's a real big money maker, but a one-hit wonder for them. As soon as the one hits the market, they're gonna lose it all. If that's not enough motivation for all of this, and I don't know what is. Do you know who any of the executives are? No, but I can find out. Okay, let's see here. We got uh, Bill Hassan. We've got Stephanie Finkley. We've got Amanda O'Brien. We've got Mark Belton. Who was the last one? Uh, Amanda O'Brien. She's the chief financial officer. Do you know her? Mm, not personally, but I met her at one of our fundraisers before Theo got involved. What happened? She wasn't interested. She said fairy tales are nice, but we don't invest in them. Mm. 
I bet she regrets that decision. I guess so. God, I hate these greedy corporate ass. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Something went wrong and he wants more money or else he'll let them walk. How much? Half a million. So, so what should I do? Pay him. But this is it. No more excuses. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I hope you're proud of yourself. What is that supposed to mean? This whole thing was your idea, Amanda. I just wanted to save the company. By destroying us? We don't even know if the wand works. We couldn't risk it. This has gone on too far. What are you saying? I told you before. If you go down, you go down alone. Is that clear? Yes. Oh, hey. Hmm. It's the weasel. Wiring the money now. This is the last payment. Get it done. Well, at least we know how much we're worth. Do you think we have enough to go to the cops? Evidence? I don't know, maybe. Why hasn't that lawyer called us back? We should tell Shane what's going on. What? Why? They could target him next. We need to warn him. They might go after him. I guess. But hey, would you mind if I drive us to Shane's? I can drive us to Shane's. I understand that you're perfectly capable of driving us to Shane's, but I got a little car sick on this last trip, and I would like to avoid that if possible. I was going the speed limit, Clyde. Anything else I can get for you, Dr. Riddick? Uh, no, that's all right. You can leave for the night. OK. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Have a good night. Wait, 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 wait. Are you sure about this? Can we trust him? Of course, it's Shane. <sighs> He's never really liked me. This may be tough, but not many people do. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Well, you're not really a people person. But it's fine. Not everyone is. Although I am. Come on. I'm a little offended. <clears throat> you know, some people do like me. It's few and far between. My interns seem to really like me. My interns. <gasps> Shane. Donna? Hey, buddy. Are you okay? I, yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. What about you? You're all over the news. It's all a lie. We were framed. They hired someone to kill us. Um, what? It, yeah, it's a long story. Um, uh, can we come in? Y yes, of course, yeah. <sighs> Are you sure this Amanda person is involved? Not 100%, but someone working at Orpheum is. That much we know. 
And she was at one of our fundraisers, so she knows about the project. Why? Why would she do this? Money. Why else? As soon as the wands are released, they can kiss goodbye to their $5 billion market share. People have done a lot worse for less. You know, it makes sense. They're targeting the IP owners of Wand and others. I guess I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or the right place. Y you saved me. He saved me. <laughs> yes, yeah. Thank God you were there. I and right now, they think we've been eliminated, but you're still left, and they will come after you. We have to call the police. Do you have any evidence? We have his pistol. They should be able to match the bullets that shot Rachel and Theo and you. The police already have the pistol. They found it at your house. My house? Yes. He must have planted it that night. Whoever they are did a very good job of framing you two because the police believe that you're behind this, that you destroyed all the research. Well, why would they think that? Because of Gracie. They think you're on some sort of personal vendetta. I can't believe this. Okay, what are we supposed to do? Let me just call my lawyer. And, you know, maybe with the phone and the video, it might be enough. We'll see. He's right. But we have to talk to a lawyer before we go to the cops. Okay. You're doing the right thing. I'm glad we came. When was that press conference where you met Amanda? Four years ago? Why? Before we had a prototype. Yes. Why now? I mean, why wait this long to come after us? I don't know. They weren't worried before. But why be worried now? We, we've never published any of our preliminary data. So how did they find out that it works now? The press conference. Donna, that was two days ago. They must have been planning this for weeks. What are you saying? I don't know. <sighs> Something doesn't feel right. I think you're just overthinking it. I mean, not everything is a... Uh... A what? A conspiracy theory. Thank you so much. See you soon. He's on his way. Thank you for believing us. Of course, we're in this together. Can I use your restroom? Sure, down the hall to the left. Uh, he's a bit of an odd one, isn't he? He's got some quirks, and he's OCD, and neurotic, and paranoid, and anxious. And he's got this fear of feet that I just now learned about. But other than that, he's harmless. And I wouldn't be here without him. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you, but I could use a drink. Oh, yeah, sure.
I still can't believe it. The fire destroyed everything, all those years of research for nothing. Ah, uh, not quite. What are you talking about? Clyde saved two of the prototypes and the research on his laptop. Are you serious? I mean, it will take time to manufacture the ones, but we can continue where we left off. After all of this is behind us, of course. That's, uh, that's great news. Yeah. Oh, where are they? The ones? In the car. Huh. It's open. Wow, the lawyer's fast. I can't even get my to return a call. Bruce was a liability. I'm here to make sure you and I don't turn out to be one. Donna, I'm... Oh. You know her? Oh, he doesn't just know her. Tell me that is not true. Sorry, Donna. Nothing personal. Did you bring the other gun? It's right here. I'm gonna need those keys. Who's got them? Now! That would be me. Get the prototypes and the research. What? From their car. Let's go. Why? You really need to ask that. Shane, I thought you cared. I do care, Donna. I care plenty. But we all have our limits. And what is that supposed to mean? Eight years. Eight years. That's how long I've wasted my life on this. <laughs> and what's the reward? You and Rachel are giving away for free? I said that's what this is all about. Money? Oh, I'm done. You act like you want to save the world. All you ever cared about saving is Gracie. <laughs> So what, you're gonna shoot me in your living room? Is that your plan? That's exactly my plan. You and your boyfriend decided to break in and shoot me with the same gun that you shot me with before. He's not my boyfriend. Shut up! Only this time you missed and I didn't. It's called self-defense. You are never gonna get away with this. I think I will. I might even get away with the patent. I couldn't be the only owner who survived. Now everybody thinks that's you. And that's all changed. Really, I should be thanking you. Oh. They're in the trunk. Open it. I'm just gonna get my keys. You wouldn't hit a woman. I wouldn't be so sure. No, don't worry. She was a bad woman. She deserved it. I, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, that really hurts. Okay.
God, I will ship you. I will. Jana. Wow, you, you shot him. Yeah, yeah, I did. Nice job. Right? I was hoping that I could have. I mean, I was, I was gonna. You, you wanted to do it? I mean, yeah, I haven't shot a gun yet. Uh, I did punch Amanda, though. Uh, yeah, she, she's knocked out flat. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. She deserved it. I guess I'll call the cops. Okay. Yeah, you should do that. I need a drink. Oh, my God. A few minutes ago, the jury convicted Dr. Shane Riddick of two counts of first-degree murder, arson, and conspiracy. Well, this comes two weeks after his accomplice, Amanda O'Brien, was found dead in her jail cell. Her death remains under investigation. Well, this brings an end to the year-long scandalous trial centered around that breakthrough medical device, the wand. And the U.S. Health and Safety Association, led by Judge Lawrence Blackheart, finalized the purchase of 50 million units last week. The delivery of those first units to our nation's hospital is scheduled to happen within the next month, while negotiations are underway for worldwide distribution. How beautiful you are. <sighs> Oh, well, she's, uh, she's really out here, isn't she? Okay. Does she realize what time it is? Because we are running late. Dr. Sawyer! Doctor. Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay, well, now I have to get my boots cleaned. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just one month and I'll be back. And we'll do all the trail rides. All of them. Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Dr. Sawyer. Hi. As okay. soon as you're done feeding this large flea bag here, we actually have a plane to catch. Oh. Uh, if you didn't, you don't remember uh, Brussels, the European Medicines Agency, Rem remember? Hey, we have plenty of time. And it's a private plane, so it'll wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's quite how that works. But... Mm. Hey, love you. Oh, you were talking to the horse. That, uh, that makes more sense. Oh, Clyde, I love you too. Oh, uh, well, thank you, but I'd like to keep this strictly platonic okay. if you wouldn't mind. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go through the presentation just one more time. We have practiced the presentation so many times, I am dictating it in my sleep. Yes, but we need this to be perfect, mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. Clyde, everyone already knows it works. They don't want a lecture. They want a timeline of delivery, logistics, inspirational stories. Really? Oh. <laughs> Actually, do you have any allergy medicine on you by chance? I mean, right now, on me, no. Okay, well, we might need to stop and get some on our way to the plane because this is flaring up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. And now, watch out, because I stepped on this earlier. You should probably get some. Oh, you. Oh, you. 